Hello, hello, and welcome once again to the message that I open every single Smash Arena crew battle stream with. We're doing the Greninjas versus the Me Brawlers today. There was talk of me having a Greninja commentate, a co-commentator, but that fell through. So one day, one day I'll have a JMU with someone else on the stream with me. Today is not that day. Hello, LQV Kitty. I'm going to do my very best because I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just open by saying this: Greninja is one of my very worst characters. I don't know very much about him, and uh, I've tried. To, I've, I've done a little participating in the crew battle in the JMU over the course of the week, but I've also been working all week. This was the last week of school, so. I thought I would have two days, just Monday and Tuesday, and then they had me covering other routes for schools that were still going for the remainder of the week. I guess the Nintendo Direct was last Tuesday, that just happened this week. Kazuya, just announced. Feels like it's been longer somehow. If you've never been in a crew battle before, I realize, I think, the Greninjas tend not to do JMUs. This might be their first, is that correct? Uh, how this works is both sides have a team of players, in this case five, with three stocks each, and we will go through the cumulative 15 stocks, one player at a time. A player will continue fighting until they, uh run out of their stocks, is how a JMU crew battle works. Of course, any crew battle, as far as I'm, I'm aware. They do not do JMUs, to my knowledge, so this is a very special occasion. It is also the final, uh, final Pokémon on Boss Giovanni's list. We did, uh, we did JMUs with every other Pokémon we didn't get to fight the Pikas. We didn't have the crew battle because they, they couldn't get enough players to make, to pull through and make it happen. But we did have the week-long event with every other Pokemon. Greninja is the last one on our list to catch. Team Rocket members are looking to make the Brawlers proud. Pikachu escaped. He's, he's a fast little shit. Oh, that's right. Also another rare turn of events. Big Lord is our opening player instead of our anchor. What is our lineup? We have playing today just posted in announcements, I believe, so I can share it. We have Big Lord, we have Dale, we have Insignia, EMZ, and Wokonex. It's a strong brawler team. I'm gonna jinx it by saying that, I know I am. Wondering if you got your photos printed. Photos? I got photos? Boy, this Greninja had better, uh, better show up. The arena's gonna close. Was it 30 minutes of inactivity? No, we've only been live for 5 minutes. We're good.
We are live on both Twitch and YouTube. So, if you have problems with either one, you can go to the other. I know some people are finicky with one or the other. Hello, Darian. Everyone seems to be on Twitch at the moment. Are we? We are live on YouTube, right, Darian? Yeah, we're good. Some one person has confirmed this. Is Soul Koga gonna be commentating? I don't know who that is. We had, uh, we had a Greninja, uh, Shadow Knight was interested in commentating, but, uh, there was some confusion with the schedule and it didn't work out, so, just me today. Here we go. We have our first Greninja, Van. Not sure if the Greninja lineup was posted anywhere. All right, Greninja lineup. We have Tarek, Van, Shadow Knight, Wes, and Jay playing. Uh, hmm. So Shadow Knight is playing in the crew battle. Even though he could not commentate? I'm, pred I'm predicting now. This is going to- this could be rough. We're encountering a, encountering a lot of difficulty difficulties immediately. What else is going on? The stream seems to be going better today. We did a, uh, Jack and I did Book of Mario randomized yesterday. We did the Pit of a Hundred Trials, which is extra scrambled in the randomized version of the game. And, uh, the stream just, it, it exploded halfway through without us realizing it. Obs just, uh, started dying. And we lost the last hour of the stream or so. Still working on doing the editing needed to put that up on YouTube. Book of Mario, that's right, it's great. You got Goombell, you got Carbon, you got Snow. Classic characters. You got enemies like Fucking Goomba. Bullshit. Good, memorable Nintendo enemies. What are those pulsating buddies on the benches? They're, they're my buddies. They're my pulsating buddies. They're punishment for the players taking too long to start the match. That's what they are. Uh I I put I put the pulsating masses away. Van and Big Lord are discussing stages. And it seems like we're good to go. Alright, Big Lord. Me Brawler versus Van the Greninja.
Oh boy, that's a good load time. Big Lord is in Portugal. I am not sure where Van is located. Three, two, one, go. Big Lord, again, using his captain, his personal me, which is surprising. Usually in the Pokemon crew battles, he's the Giovanni. Goes for the Thrupper, not enough to kill. Big Lord, famously a fan of Thrust Uppercut. I believe he's got uh, Shot Put equipped as well. Suplex and Faint Jump goes without saying. Greninja covering his own recovery with uh, Water Shuriken. Big Lord is also famously not a fan of Wi-Fi, that is true. Brawler it is not a fan of Wi-Fi. Sh uh, out of Shield Up Smash takes Greninja's first stock. Van has got him up to 88%. Ooh, is that a fair? Lots of footsies. Big Lord having to be the aggressive pair. Uh, aggressive one. Ooh, there goes a stock off Big Lord. Fairly even so far. Is Van a player of considerable repute in the Greninja community? Lord's approaches are now being stymied. He's trying to enter with Nair. Going for suplex. Ooh, an up smash takes another stock off, Big Lord. He's learned. He's adapted. Big Lord going for that bear kill. Okay, another out of shield up smash. Doesn't kill. Thrupper finishes the job. Zero to ele to twelve percent. Hoping for that roll in. He does not get it. Big Lord knows better. Still taking a lot of damage. Van has, uh, Van's adapted. He's gained the upper hand. Ooh, D-Smash. Bigler doing a lot of shielding. Greninja, I don't believe Van hasn't really done any grabbing this game. He's just letting him get away with the shielding. Could Big Lord capitalize with the thrust uppercut? Oh, not enough! That was so close, though. This could still go either way. Ooh, out of shield Nair. And I don't even know what that was. Was that an up, uh, was, uh, was up smash? Big Lord wins the match with one stock remaining. That is two off the Brawlers and three off of the Greninjas. Put my keyboard over there, I still need it. Which means Big Lord will remain in the match while our next Greninja enters. Greninjas do have plenty of subs, so that is good. Should be able to keep things moving reasonably on the Greninja's side.
seems like Shadow Knight will be subbed out and will be replaced by Phantom as our next Greninja. Unfortunately, the uh, Greninja who was not here, who was supposed to be first in the lineup, was Europe, which would be a uh, better match for Big Lord over in Portugal. battle workings, the etiquette, because we've had a lot of confusion about that, and particularly because the Greninjas haven't, uh, they don't really do JMUs. Uh, in cases like this where Big Lord has lost two stocks, he will begin the match by removing two of his stocks, SDing twice, then both players return to neutral and taunt to begin the match. Phantom, Greninja. First JMU in 18 months. Okay, they've, it's not their first rodeo. They just don't do them very often. Ready? Big Lord as Me Brawler versus Greninja. Phantom. Phantom the Greninja. Also on Pokemon Stadium. I guess this is appropriate, isn't it? Alright. They begin. Big Lord gets the first few hits. Using that, uh... Those up tilt juggles. Phantom cannot get a hit in. He wants to stay on the ground. He doesn't want to play the platform game. Ooh, there it goes. Oh, no. You hate to see it. It was going to happen again there for a second. I can tell Phantom's like me. He likes playing around off the ledge. For better or for worse. Proper does not quite kill. Ooh, shot put, however, does. Yes, this is me, Zelrog, on commentary. Hello. Gets a suplex. Free 20%. Mmm, up tilt juggling. Big Lord is dancing on him. No out of shield punish for that dash attack. Thrupper misses. Can he do anything with that? Ooh, he takes a faint jump kick. Greninja strikes me as a combo-heavy character who is also hurt pretty badly online, like Brawler. Is that, is that a correct assumption? Can he take one stock off? Oh, an F throw! Big Lord with a three stock. That's another three off the Greninjas.
Sounds like our EU Greninja may have returned, Tarek. Sounds like a tack in the ma in the power of Juju name, Tarek. Tarek. It was Tarlock was the bad guy. I don't don't get your hopes up. He might not be the next match. It's between Wes and Tarek. Don't know if Tarek is here though. Sounds like we will be getting Tarek. Yeah, he's in the he's in the crew battle chat. Which will be good. This will be an all EU match, except for my American ass just sitting over here and, and ruining everything. Washington State, halfway around the world. I, d I don't think spectators have too much of an impact, though. Certainly not for distance. Like, that doesn't add the... Uh, usually when it comes to lag... The uh, input delay has to do with distance, and stuttering has to do with instability for a connection. People are fearing Tarek in the uh, in the crew battle chat. They're worried he's going to take Big Lord stock and then just wipe everyone else out. Melia, Melia. I assume that's Tarek? So how are you? Just, uh, just sitting here, waiting for people to finish their conversations in the crew battle channel. We can, you know, have a match. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing going on today. That's not true. Hey, happy Father's Day, y'all! I'm going to see the uh, going to see the parents later tonight, but it's not tonight. It's still the morning. So, Tarek, the Greninja versus Big Lord, the Brawler. On where do they go? He decided wisely not to go to Yoshi's, given that Big Lord is using Thrust Uppercut. Again, we're going to Pokemon Stadium too. Why go anywhere else to catch a Greninja? Big Lord will remove his two stocks. I don't think Tarek is particularly... Okay, there he goes. I was worried he wasn't really paying attention to the JMU chat. Gets the first hits off on Big Lord. Gets several following hits on Big Lord. Continues to get hits on Big Lord. Big Lord got a shot put. There he goes. Out of shield, up smash. Can he get a stock off Tarek? If he can't, no one can.
He's a slimy, slimy little dude. Oh, F smash takes out Big Lord. He did not get the one stock. We are now down to nine for the Greninjas and 12 for the Brawlers. That's probably, that number could very well keep going down. I think our next, uh, I think our next brawler is Dale. Brawler number two. Can he take a stock off of Tarek? Turk. Dale using the same moveset as Big Lord, except with Helicopter Kick. Which I've been playing friendlies with him, and he's been using a lot lately. Seems he's taken a liking to Helikick. has gotten a lot better over the course of the past couple months. I think he's currently... I would say he's about on par with my brawler. Maybe a little bit better, even. Not up to Big Lord standards, but we could be we could be surprised. We, we gotta root for the underdog. Dale can do it. I see you're rooting for Tarek. He doesn't need it. Dale attempting to choose Lilac. But Tarek has banned Lilac. Bans Town and City, Smashville, and Lilac. Sounds like they are going to Battlefield. Slow moving one. We're creeping along. All right, here we go. Dale, the brawler, using Helikick, versus uh, Tarek, the feared Greninja. Three, two, one, go! Both players can start immediately with all three stocks. Dale using plenty of them nares. Me Brawler's entire neutral game. 
Ooh, no, the jab block. He gets knocked off the platform to safety. Ooh. Well, it's not enough to kill, but it got him out there. He's in disadvantage. Tarek recovers. He's taking hits now. Oh, raw F smash. Gets punished not too badly. I think it was just a dash attack. Ooh. That was a risky, uh, risky hella kick. Okay, there he goes. F smash. Dale loses his first stock. Going for reads and they're not paying paying off. It lo looks like Tarek is more on the defensive side, to my eyes. Ooh, if that were Thrupper, then again, if it were Thrupper, he would not probably have not gone to battlefield. Ooh. Was that bear? He's not dead yet. Mm, if he could just get a heli now. That's optimistic, though. He's not going to get that heli. Not not easily. Mm, I shouldn't have said that. That seemed like a misinput. That was probably meant to be a faint jump. Oh, shot put kills. He gets a stock off of Tarek. But everyone's freaking out about the me voice. What's wrong with the me voice? It's just a lady voice. It's a lady me. What's your problem? We have to take him out. We gotta catch the monster. It's a Gigantamax, uh... It's a Dynamax Greninja. We all have to unite together to take down Tarek. Gets a suplex. Can he get another stock? Ooh, that up air. They're not too far in percentage. But I think Tarek has got Dale's numbers number now. He's gotten used to how he plays. Mm. Doesn't get punished for the hella kick. He doesn't get punished for the faint jump kick. What was that reverse direction F smash? Another faint jump kick goes unpunished into a D smash. Dale is doing a lot of risky stuff. And getting away with it more often than he probably should. Come on, hit the shot put. Oh, yes! He's still gonna recover because he's Greninja, but... It was a cool shot put. Up smash, gets shielded. Oh, the shuriken! I didn't know that killed. That's one off the Greninjas and three off the Brawlers. You did good, you took a stock. I, I know people hate listening to commentators who don't know the characters they're watching. I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I did. I wish I wasn't working all week. I wish I'd got more Grens to play against. None of them wanted to do friendlies. He was at a pretty high percent. He was at like, what, 140-ish? Tarek stays in, and it seems like our next me brawler is dot 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 insignia. I was told the uh, ellipses are a very important part of his name.
get uh, three different up specials in a row from the Brawlers. The Big Lord with Thrust Uppercut, Dale with Helikick, and now Insignia is a Soaring Axe Kick user. The three up B crews have united to take down the frogs. Tarek bans Lila, Smashville, excuse me, Smashville and Battlefield. Going to PS is every every match. Why not just do PS2 every match? Why bother with picks and bans? We don't need them. Who needs them? It's a Pokemon. We fight in Pokemon Stadium. Alright. Insignia, the brawler, using Soaring Axe Kick versus, uh... Tarek, the Greninja. I almost said Greninja the, the Greninja again. I don't know what's wrong with me. Alright, they begin. Greninja versus Obama. On Pokemon Stadium, Obama has decided to take a crack at becoming a Pokemon trainer. And he's not doing it halfway. Throwing Axe Kick, of course, with the respectable disjoint. Oh no! He went too low! Why is he not using his double jump? Why does he keep using his Soaring Axe Kick so low? moving a bit. Obama, he schmoves. It's going for them nares. Nares into a suplex, that's good damage. He can do it, he can get a stock off. Oh! Well, that'd be sad to see Tarek of all people get uh, caught under the stage like that previous, like Phantom, poor Phantom did. Oh, he goes for an out of shield up smash, but it was itself shielded. Oh. Mm. He goes for the cheese, does not land it. All the axe kick in neutral. Why use anything else? Hanging out by that ledge. I'd be afraid to be there at this percent. It's it's so stale, it's not gonna kill. The soaring axe kick. That seemed prime for a faint jump kick. He doesn't go for it. Oh, Axe in neutral gets, uh... Greninja goes for a punish with D-Smash, but that gets shielded. No one can land a finishing blow. They're just dancing around each other. He, he makes me so nervous how low he goes. Mm. I think that was Bear. Another stock off of Insignia. And it's fresh again. There we go. We get another stock off of Tarek. Thanks, Obama. Oh, that's fair. I'm sorry. Is the... So the kick. That's bare. 
Ah. Oh. He should. He could go for the suicide. Bren would die first. Insignia would win the match if he doesn't if if he lands the offstage sack. I should I shouldn't say that. Tarek might be listening to this. We gotta keep our brawler secrets. Oh, up air! Not enough to kill. He goes for a third one. Ooh. The Nair outranges Sack from below, at least. Attempts an F smash read. Faint jump kick. Ooh, and shot put. Oh! This is a good attempt. Did not connect the two frame. This is surprisingly close. There it goes. Tarek is not carrying the crew battle as anticipated. He's doing well. He's doing very well. But we're whittling him down. That is three more off the Brawlers and one more off of Tarek. The Greninja's now in a lead with seven to six. And if he didn't, if, if not for that SD at the start of the match, you gotta wonder how that would have gone. Who's our next brawler? Uh, BMZ. Who is using, let's see. I'm in the wrong channel. I'm in the staff channel. BMZ using thrust uppercut like Big Lord. The crew, the crew battles have brought a, a whole lot more focus on the up Bs, which is the most variable part of a brawler's move set. Yeah, Im imagine if all. All me moves were as well balanced as the three brawler up specials. That's the dream, right? Imagine if custom moves returned, and they were all as well balanced as brawler's up specials. We should all strive to be brawler's up specials. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. BMZ on brawler versus Tarek, the Greninja, who will remove two of his stocks. The first actual Team Rocket member we have. And begin! Ooh, interrupts the uh, interrupts the suplex. It's rare that it's rare that get gets outranged. Usually the grab uh, begins. And the super armor activates at the same time as an attack connects. Oh, no! Okay, he's fine. BMZ made it. Gets a suplex. Catching up on the damage. BMZ taking most of the damage early on. A lot of up airs in neutral. He's trying to catch him in the air. Mm -hmm. Suplex does not connect. Ooh, faint jump stomp, not the kick. Goes for an F smash, there's the kick. Mm, D smash, he can make it back from that. No, he can't! 
Oh, that does it. You only get one faint jump in the air. BMZ now down a stock. Can he take out Tarek's final stock without losing another one? I know he can do it. I have no doubt that BMZ can take out one stock of, of off Tarek. Fair. In an amazing display, both hits connect. Mmm. That ain't good. BMZ looking for an opening. And Tarek is not giving him one. He's got him scouted. Okay, BMZ makes it back to stage. Attempts a double thrupper. Does not connect. Up smash! Takes the stock! BMZ gets it. That's one for one. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good record against Tarek. Alright, the brawlers are back in it. Now, five to six, we have two Greninjas left, two Brawlers left, and BMZ down one stock. <laughs> the first actual Team Rocket member to enter is the one who gets the Pokemon. Eight stocks from Tarek, people are saying. However this goes, the M MVP on the Gren side is decided. It's physically impossible for someone to, to now take more Brawler stocks. This is a very close uh, crew battle so far, which is good. What was it? There was an infamous crew battle that I believe the... I think it was the Palutena's? I don't remember who they went up against, but they did. They just sent out a bunch of like ultra pro PGR players. They 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 managed to get a bunch of them for a crew battle, and just went all in on the best players and steamrolled the other team. It was I think it was a perfect like zero. No no one took a stock off their first player. Which, typically, JMU's done right. Give priority to the people who uh, participated in the week-long discussion is the intent. So that, you know, people get a chance to play. Because the point of the event is for people to uh, get experience and learn the matchups. Imagine learning matchups instead of just calling your opponent's character broken. Wacky. Kirby also sweeped Marth. Yeah, the low tier the low tier discords tend to have really good players to compensate. Not to the extent like they they have to send out better players, but they just a lot a lot of players of low tier characters tend to be very skilled at the game because they have to be they have to have very strong fundamentals to play their characters and still find success chat is saying it was pac-man versus rosa it was the wipe how does marth lose to kirby uh oh and the it was the the jmu It's a good question, Mega Man. How does King Dedede beat Pikachu 13 0? Low tier discords are scary, man. That's why I play Ganondorf. It's like training weights. And then I, I remove my training weights and I turn into Bowser and then I, t I, I sweep. That's how it goes. Bowser is Ganondorf minus the training weights. It's 
So BMZ has chosen his bands. What's he, what's he banning? Smashville, Kalos, and Town. Guess where we're going to? BMZ the Brawler versus Wes the Greninja on Pokemon Stadium 2. Why go anywhere else? Alright, BMZ is down his stock and begin. I think I've played Wes before. I think I've done like friendlies with him or something. I might hang around Brawler Court. I recognize the name anyway. Mm, up smash gets interrupted. EMZ struggling to get any damage in. Well, he's, he's got a look. He's got more damage. What am I saying? Probably landed two whole suplexes. What are we gonna do if every every single match? Well, no, we, we had a, a battlefield match, so every single match has not been PS2. I think it's been all but that one though. Ooh, thrust uppercut! Oh, just barely not enough to kill. Also not enough to kill. That Greninja aerial, uh. They're both fishing for that hit. They just need one. Ooh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe more than one. That did it. Sure, he can killed. Wes takes the first stock off BMZ. There we go. D smash. BMZ takes a stock stock off of Wes. Now 50% to 20%. BMZ's favor, however, down a stock as he began the match with. I think our last brawler after BMZ is Woko, so. Uh... Probably not quite safe enough for Thrupper. Ooh, F smash. He gets the read. Takes another stock off of Wes. He is at a very reasonable 60%. He could pull it back. Come on, BMZ. Land those land those suplexes. He's already. Yep, there he goes. And Thrupper. Oh, so close. They're back to even. Even stocks, even damage. Mmm. -hmm. Come on, even it up. Up smash, doesn't kill. BMZ got him downloaded. He knows Wes's game now. F throw, the closest thing Brawler has to a kill throw. Still not really a kill throw. A lot of useless throws in this game. A lot of throws that just don't do anything. Ooh, attacks the shield, out of shield, up smash, takes Wes's final stock. BMZ hangs in there. Down one stock, Greninjas are down three. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, that's right, that's three. The score is now four to three. If the final Greninja can take uh, BMZ's stock, It'll be even again at three to three. Very close, uh, very close crew battle.
My heart is going to explode, says BMZ. Same bands, Town and City, Smashville, and Kalos. Our final Greninja is J. Probably one of those throws that gets a lot stronger earlier with Rage. Are you talking about uh, Brawler's F throw? called a uh, knockback growth, by the way. And is absurdly high on Ness's back throw, infamously. I bet you'll let you know what? I should get in the spirit of things. There we go. I'll put the official mascot of this stream in the bottom left at all times. You'll never guess where the next match will be. Oh, every time I enter that screen, I have trouble finding the stage I'm looking for. We bring it up every single crew battle. Like, why can't this just be organized by series? It'd be so much better. Or just the option, anyway. I, I, I can't wait for them to, uh, every time... I guess they, they future-proofed it. The stage select and the character select. So that they know what they're doing when they add more to the screens. Another game I play is uh, Awesome Knots. Which is a 2D platforming MOBA. Kind of similar to Smash Brothers in some respects. And they did not future-proof their uh, character select screen. There's just one asshole at the bottom. The last character they added before they stopped adding content to the game. Just with his own row. So you got like three or four rows just chock full of characters. And then one dude hanging out at the bottom. Just ruining everything. Need an out need an out of shield option badly for Greninja. Why not a down taunt? Make down taunt great again. The problem with making any taunt actually good is that that's immediately a hard nerf on quick play. Is it ever optimal to use Luigi's taunt? I know I know it hits ledges. Hey. What's up? You having a good day, BMZ? Have you met my friends? It's always a good time to use Luigi's taunt. Fair point. They still have uh, they still have taunts disabled on quick play though, don't they? Like you just can't use them. I assume Kirby's taunt command is still uh, removes. Like he can still remove his ability, right? Our final Greninja is confusingly named Toxicroak on Discord.
How many frog Pokemon are we up to? We got uh, the Greninja family. We got the Toxicroak Krogunk family. We have a uh, Seismitoad. That's three. Rokey? That's part of the that's part of the Greninja family. Well, oh, there's a uh, Politoed. Yeah, Polyrath and Politoed. So that's four families. Now, Venusaur's not a frog. He's a dinosaur. It's in his name. Alright. BMZ. The Thrust Upper Brawler versus our final uh, Greninja, J slash Toxicroak. Three. Bulbasaur is not a frog. Shut up. Go. He's a dinosaur plant. Uh, BMZ removes two of his stocks. Hello, BMZ. He's running out the timer. He's playing the long con. All right, begin. BMZ getting the early hits. If he gets a three stock, this could be the final match. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully we get to see our final, we get to see Woko play. Ooh. So that's Bear, the, the leg move. He attempts to use Hydro Pump. It does not send BMZ downward enough. Ooh. Going for those long range, uh, fully charged shurikens. Not fully charged, but charged shurikens. Crawl. Top tier strat. You gotta crawl more, Greninja. He can't hit you if you're prone. That's how a ninja moves. He sneaks. Ooh. Ed, uh. Reverse ledge guard shot put. D smash. There's a stock off of Greninja. DMZ shields the up tilt and the up air. Toxicroak hopping around, as frogs do, spending a lot of time in the air. He's very, this is the most frog-like Greninja I've ever seen. He's either squatting or he's uh, just hopping. Also using Hydro Pump to effect to remove BMZ stock. Oh, it was a button check. BMZ was uh, I, I, lag testing, I guess. I'm so, am I wrong? Is that is that not hydro pump? Remember how mad people were when they replaced Mario's down B with flood in brawl. Remember people thought it was a useless move and it ruined the character? I guess I'm the only one who's alive back then. Never mind. Just boomer things. Why didn't Hydro Pump do 130% damage? Flood had a, had a custom variant in Smash 4 that was like boiling water and dealt damage. I think it was just damage. It didn't have the knockback, though, which effectively made it useless. There was a lot of bad custom moves in 4.
that said, I still love the concept. I, I wish they would come back. Balanced or not, just because they would be f a lot of fun for casual play. Perhaps that is optimistic. Sakurai killed Hydro Pump. Was it better in floor? In, in four. Was it better when used in the floor? Wolconex is our final me brawler, and what is he using? Ooh, he's our first, uh, first and only non-shot put user, using FMP and throwing axe kick. So Woko using the set that I would have used had I been chosen for the crew battle. Alright, J SDs once. What is that Woko Ed? What is that Woko me? Begin! Woko the Brawler versus uh, Toxicroak J the Greninja. It's just, it's, it's an angry little narrow eyed dude in a cat suit. Oh, it's Persian? Is that what it's supposed to be? Man, it doesn't feel right without uh, Big Lord, the, the Giovanni. I thought it was Saitama. It's Cat Saitama. It's Saitama, yeah. Woko's got only two stocks to take off of uh, Toxicroak. And he's doing a good... Well, he's doing a good job so far, getting more damage. He's got the kill move. That's all it takes. It's just an aerial smash attack. You catch a jump with it, it's over. Toxicroak now has three stocks to get through if he wants to win the crew battle for the Greninjas. It's not impossible, but boy is it a tall order. I like to use FMP against light, uh, fast characters. We're likely to avoid a lot of shot puts and potentially punish it because of the, uh, the cooldown. And FMP kills them so early because they're light. It's a very nice tool to have. Goes dancing around. His faint jump gets caught. Oh, the up air isn't enough to kill, though. A fair, fairly piddly Greninja throw. Oh, is that F throw? Oh. Not quite enough. Toxicroak. Really trying to get that stock off. Big Lord at 155%. One more hit should do it. Two more hits should do it. Not going for those hydro pumps like he did against the last opponent. There goes a stock. Big Lord, uh, Big Lord. Woko down one stock. Phone, shut up. Not now. Faint jump kick. Sends Greninja out. It's not looking good. Woko next might just be too much. Ooh, there's the FMP that needs. And Woko wins the crew battle for the Brawlers with a final score of 2-0. Brawler favored. That was a good that was a good crew battle. That was very close throughout. Lots of ups and downs, lots of back and forth. GG's. Yeah, FMP does activate on shields. And if you drop your shield during FMP, you're gonna have a bad time. 
All right. That's it for our crew battle today. Thank you, uh, Greninjas, for having this JMU with us. It is a privilege, as rarely as the JMUs are held. And it was a lot of fun. It was a good close crew battle. Brawlers had fun, I think. I will speak for all the brawlers. We had fun. Uh, might do a stream with Jack later today. If you'd like to subscribe, you can stick around, see what that might be. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.